Hello, this is Hiroja Scheib with another episode of Satoshi's Treasure Hunters. And huzzah, happy clue day, September 23rd. Um, and two keys have dropped, the news key and the movie night. So, it's been a while. Um, we talked about it during the weekly update about some of the uh, issues people have had with like the clue drops and... Uh, was going on with the game uh, but uh, you know we had two clue drops uh, and they seem interesting they're building upon already like skill sets that people have learned from existing clues uh, one is audio one is visual and uh, it's kind of pop culture for one of them particularly the movie night one I'm not so sure about the audio one, and we'll get into that when we break down that clue. But, you know, hey, uh, we got some clues to solve. There's some still unsolved clues out there. And, um, yeah, so let's uh, let's get into what is going on with these clues uh, for the, these. Okay, so we are on the main site. Let's just do a little quick clue update, or a puzzle update, if you will, of what has been solved. The Earth Key, no one has announced that they have uh, solved that. There's a possibility that the private group has, but again, we just kind of don't know because the game makers have changed uh, from found to, to um, available and expired. Let's see, drop it down. The zero knowledge key, those keys have been given out. So those three keys are out there on the board. Uh, they've been given out to the winners of that particular hackathon. Uh, the checkerboard key, again, that, that key is still kind of up in the air. None of the public clans have just stated that they have found that particular key. Uh, the hackathon key for the cheese wizard has just ended, so we won't know for a little bit till who the winner is and when that key is being released. Let's see. Uh, the hidden key has been solved. Uh, there has been no public announcement about the cathodic key. And the news key and the movie night key have just been released. Uh, the latter key, uh, there has been no public announcement for that or the United key, uh, those two keys of anyone solving that. So, <clears throat> let us go to the news key. The clue is called the Series of Celebrations. If you can tell on which date of 2019 these conversations most possibly happen and put them in the order of the time you should be able to unlock the key. Don't overthink this. If the dates are January 1st, February 2nd, or March 3rd, the sequence should look like 01010202030C. If the conversation is about a sequence of dates, use the first day in the sequence. Happy holidays. Okay, so we are given the key by the game makers, or I should say the decryptor page by the game makers, so we don't have to solve for that. And this is the conversation. And why I play this conversation, I think it's important to know that this would require clans to... It will require clans to really like dig deep within their clan infrastructure for people that are capable of translating. Um, different forms of speech, uh, networking now to try to get this particular clue solved. And um, I will discuss towards the end about how is it possible to uh, find ways to solve this if uh, we don't have the skill sets to translate the different uh, speeches here in, the, in this um, clue. ...が勝つと米が豊作になります. นางเงือกกัดสตอกเมนอนเดดังก็อ่างอะไรมั้งบุกว่าหกเงินนั่นโอเดคิดตังกัดสูงก็อีดิสใช่ตอบกลับอีกทีนะครับอันนี้เป็
Bueno, eso es interesante. Eso parece como si hubiese sido un juego de, 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 de lo que se juega allá en Madrid. ¿Cómo se llama? De cuando ¡Gol! Sí. ¡Gol! Sí. Que salen a celebrar, ¿verdad? Que todo el mundo sale a, a vociferar ¡Gol! ¡Gol! Pero es la forma de ellos celebrar eso es jugando con tomates. A mí eso es lo que... Parece una vaina como de... Mira, eso parece de... de tomate. Eso parece de Working Deal. Eso es lo que parece. La vaina como que ¿Sabes eso? lo que me parece eso a mí, en realidad? Como no. una toalla sanitaria que se rebosó de sangre. <risa> oh <my risa> ¡Qué asco! <risa> oh, dear. Krampus drove his car to Sanford. The evil one. He is evil. He's jaywalking. Krampus jaywalked across the street. This car doesn't know what to do. Oh. Hello, sir. Krampus is hiding in... You put a wish on the lantern and then you fly it into the sky. What is this, Mike? Sky lantern. Sky lantern. This is our lantern right here. You can choose from these different colors and then you fly it into the sky. Just like what they're doing over here. Es un día para recordar a las personas que se han muerto. Y también es una celebración del ciclo de la vida. Para los mexicanos, el nacer, vivir y morir es una parte muy normal de la vida. Oh, Chita, comprenez, le cinéma italien des années 50. D'où cette fameuse église qui n'est autre que celle du film Mort à Venise. Et cette mama italienne en agrumes qui vous rappellera sans doute le film Amarcord de Federico Fellini. Et enfin, ce bar typique qui est présent dans le film Nuit Blanche de Visconti. Des structures majestueuses réalisées par plus de 300 personnes et qui auront demandé plus d'un an de préparation. Là on voit un très très bon travail qui a été fait, c'est que tous les citrons sont alignés. C'est vraiment un superbe travail. So there you have it, uh, that is the audio clue where you have to break down the different sequences. I, I discern at least 12, possibly 13 conversations going on there uh, for this particular clue but uh, again we'll, we'll get into the towards the end um, about how it's possible to maybe solve this boop boop okay and then the next one is the movie night key So, <clears throat> film locations. Put the five digit zip code corresponding to the location shown within the scene. Picture in order from least to greatest to unlock the key. So, this is the scene. So, it's in a GIF format. Let me see, maybe if I enhance it a bit. Um, just from the flash of sequences, you can see very significantly iconic, very mostly Western. M most of these are just Western films uh, on here that um, you can just spot off right off the bat what they are. And with that scene, uh, we also get, just like the previous clue, we get the uh, decryptor page. So we don't have to solve for the decryptor page, we just have to solve for the passphrase. 
I think the movie location one would probably be uh, pretty easy to solve. I think by the end of the day, most uh, public clans or clans will have solved this. I think the news key is going to take a little bit of time uh, to solve, but I, I think that is, a, you know, fairly attainable if you don't have, like, uh, you know, development or your computer skills. This is These are, again, keys that are clues, if you will, that general purpose people or, you know, regular people who are playing this game um, can actually solve and participate with either their, their clan or as an individual to solve for. Okay, so let's talk about how you can solve for this key. Uh, this key, these keys, particularly uh, the movie night key, which is the gift one, kind of builds on previous um, clues sets. So for example, the pawn gift, which was very early in the game, all the way back to like, it's like the fourth key. Yeah, it was like the fourth key release. And it was like follow the crazy rabbit. You had to um, click on here, and you got this GIF. And within the GIF was a hidden zip file. And one of the public solutions that someone had done um, very early on was break down the GIF frames. So each frame was broken down, as you can see here. To try to discern what um, the gift was about, if there's hidden, hidden images, hidden pictures, things of that nature, and as you go through the sequence, uh, I believe it's somewhere down here. You can see in the eye that there's a uh, like a hidden frame, if you will. I think it's these eyes here. And people were able to help people break it down and say that there's a zip file. You can see it in the eyes of the person. And it's just to break down the image. And it's just like one of the first kind of big solves, if you will, of using some kind of computer skill sets. And because of that, knowing how to do that and explaining how it was done, what you have to do is you have to use... Uh, I have this website here, um, a, an extractor, a splitter for the the image, so you can split the the uh, sequence up. So we're gonna open it up, upload it, and the image file itself, the GIF file, is not very large, so you're able to use a, a site like this or some other type of program that does a similar thing. So you want to split the frames. And what's great about this is you can crop, resize, rotate, optimize, add effects. And so you're able to, as you can see, each of these GIFs are split images. And they're split images of a particular scene. So like right here, this last image and this first image are split from Spider-Man Homecoming. Um, this right here is Goodwill Hunting. You got the first Spider Man with Tobey Maguire. Uh, this right here is Brad Pitt from um, Once Fun Time in Hollywood. You have Ant Man and the Wasp and Forrest Gump. And then the other ones, you uh, I think that's Iron Man 2. You're going to have to kind of delve into your, your movie knowledge, if you will. Let's kind of bring up a better viewpoint. So as you can see here between the two slides, you kind of have to like piece these two scenes together um, and get the whole scene. If you can't visually with your eyeballs, do it yourself here. So this is the Spider-Man Homecoming and I'm not quite sure I've kind of seen this. It, it seems like the second scene is from a romantic comedy. I'm just not really sure where. Or who. So that's one way to be able to kind of solve and figure out the scenes for the uh, movie night key. Now the 
audio one is a little bit trickier. You're going to have to basically download the mp3 file, I think, and kind of much like the tone key and the um, the Hamilton key kind of like parse out the different bits to figure out, you know, how many conversations. And then you're going to have to translate the conversations to figure out like when they took place, like what they're talking about and who's involved to figure out when it took place. And it's possible to do it like with a voice audio uh, translator app or using um, Google Translate possibly to be able to uh, give the audio to somebody and have them transcribe it so you can figure out, you know, through Google searches or investigations like, uh, you know, the context of the conversation and figure out when something took place. And since everything is taking place in 2019, uh, it makes it a little bit easier for the search so you have a very narrow time field and I think that's very helpful for people and so that's be the best thing I can do to help in the contributions for solving the clue uh, that's pretty much it um, 